out today? It's a bit cold here, I must admit, it's frost on the ground. We'll come to a pond, uh, give this a try. I've got a few others on the way. When they get here, I'll introduce them. Obviously, with the Evo Extreme, let's see what we can find in here then. Oh, I've got that can of something. Not quite sure what, but pretty minging. And of course, a scaffold pole. There we go, look at that. I've got a smoke grenade. Look, it's been set off. But yeah, green something, SMK. There we go, look, smoke grenade. Brilliant. There we go. Old handle off a bucket or something. And just some random rubbish. There we go, I got a bullet. Look at that. Has been fired as well. But yeah, I've got a bullet as well. There we go, I've got another bullet. There's two now. It's gonna be a good pond this. Look at that, I'm not quite sure what it is, but that's something different, isn't it? We'll keep that. Yeah, I've piled it all up over there. There we go. Random piece of metal. There we go, so we've got a pot of lip balm. Random thing to find it out here. So I'm in the middle of nowhere and I find a chav canister. Come on. So Aaron on his first pull has ended up with two 9mm bullets. Look at that. It's going to be a good day, I think. <laughs> so on Aaron's second pull, he's pulled out a mortar. Look at that. On his second pull. It's going to be an interesting day. Hey, no, mate. More than anything. And I've just pulled up that. Not quite sure what it is, but if you look just there, there's one of them wheels that I found a minute ago. That's different. <sighs> I jammed in that was a golf ball, and I'm sorry, nobody plays golf around here, but I've got a blooming golf ball. Is this your find? And there we go. And AJ's found himself a bullet. Has been fired, so it's all right to keep. So, shut up, noisy. <laughs> yeah, I'll introduce them in a minute, but there we go. Look, I don't know what that is, but it's random and plastic. So, all that noise in the background was obviously Mr. Peaky and Mrs. Peaky. Hello, everybody, again. And over there, we have Aaron and AJ. And somewhere else, there's a dodgy Yorkshire mum, but we'll leave him to it. I don't really understand why you're going to need a drain pipe out here. It's in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> but there we go, look, and I'll get one, and then he's gone and got one. 
a go, and then AJ's got himself another training round. They're all coming out today. That's a keeper as well. Right, put it down. Empty. Yeah, mine's empty, AJ. Still a keeper. <laughs> That'll do, AJ. Wait there. Yeah. Glenn, I've got a grenade. AJ's got a grenade. <laughs> Yeah, one each. Empty. Empty. Come back, AJ. <laughs> Two empties. AJ, we can keep our first ever grenade. Yeah, no, that's right. It's got a hole in it. It's completely empty. But more important, yes. AJ, when I said anything you're not scared, I'll just put it down gently and walk away. Brilliant. That's yeah. That's exactly what I needed you to do. We, we spoke about all well, of this Come on in, boys. Come on in. Oh, Father oh, and son oh, moment. Honestly, when you find out how much I'm worth, Right, okay, so we've got a bit of a father-son moment going on here. Both on the same pull, pulled in at the same time. They've both got an empty meals grenade. One with the Evo, one with the Beast. Look at that. Buggers. <laughs> well done, lads. <laughs> You're going to pull the big boy out and the other one that dropped under his What Water, mortar. mortar. <sighs> yeah, that's, more. that's one of them um, other ones, isn't it? The trip bar. What, that? He could edit on his video, didn't he? Is that what it is? Oh, I keep finding them. So I've got tripwire things. And what are they doing? Like? They must be the other people. And a mortar. That's what he said they were on his video. Yeah. Stas Water Raiders one. What's green with the red band mean? It means run. No, it doesn't. I don't believe you. Yeah, what? I've got one of them as well. I didn't know it was like the other end of these. Does that mean keep? What's that? Green with the red band. Yeah, I wonder if they're the other end of the trip wire or something. It could be, couldn't it? Because you've got all this too now, anyway. AJ, come. Should have won them, mate. You've got to check out the So, I've got that. Apparently, that's from a trip wire thing. So, you see, it is open, so it is safe to keep. And we've got a little training mortar. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> right. So also we've got these. Apparently these are part of the trip wire as well. This is the spike that goes the other end. We've got two of them as well. What's a cannonball look like? What's a cannonball look like? It's alright, it's only top of a fence, I won't waste your time. <laughs> it's a fence top. When it came out I thought, whoa, then I saw that. I thought, yeah, fence top, sorry Steve. There we go, got an old ball of fence. Probably the old one that used to run along there, all that more modern one went up. So there we go, got another smoke signal grenade, blue this time. So there we go, had a really good find. Yeah. Nine fifty. I've, I've had a couple of them out as well. Can they three good aid? Yeah. <laughs> so there we go, two nine mil bullets as well. See them. And Aaron's just been showing off. Go on, Aaron, show us what you found on one pull. There was a mortar and a grenade, and then there was two other bullets with it, one 9mm and then one of the bigger ones. On one pull? On one pull with Evo. And now he's on the Evo Extreme, so let's see. AJ's made friends, look. He's come up to the pond and he's got himself a pair of frogs. They are real, they are going back, so don't worry, he's not going to hurt them. <laughs> so, I just had my first go with the Extreme. So this is the inside of a shrapnel. There we go, and... He's got two more. I'm going to take that off in a minute. Look at that. This is the inside of the shrapnel one. Oh. 
Oh mate, it's a flak. See that? Yeah. What's that going on? Steve, this is oh sorry, he's on the camera. So that's the same size I bought from uh, um Colchester Smooth area. 40 quid that. I've just gone and pulled out that. As you can see, the brass band round it. Flat tip though. Hmm. We'll get Steve to check that, but oh dear. Oh, I'll slide it off. You got a scraper in there? He ain't listening. Don't worry, Aaron. <laughs> oh, it is, it's the head. Yeah, it's got the copper ring around it. Just it does. I don't know if that's live or not, though. But I would say that one could be live. Yeah. It's not a sealed one. That's been put on after, so that could be live. That could be uh, full of explosive. So we come here, all this training stuff's coming out. Everybody's doing well. I've gone and pulled out a live one. Well, the thing, it might be live, so we're going to have to get that checked. You see, look, you can see the ring around there, okay? The top is separate. There is a line around here where that's been put in there, so it's not a solid lump. It has been assembled, but... There we go. Always flipping me. Great. I'm going to be in the middle of there, right? What the? I've got a rocket launcher mount. Oh, part of the... Oh, it's a target, isn't it? That's a target. Yeah. Uh, it's got bits where it slides into other things. Yeah, that's a target. Yeah, proper target that. There we go. Just <laughs> pulled that up. And uh, Steve thinks it's a something. But uh, yeah, not quite sure. I've had something bolted on it before, but I don't know. So. Bit of a random place to find it, but look at that for a socket. One inch drive. Look at that. We love a good mystery bag. So I've just pulled up that. Let's see what's in it. Somebody's wash bag. Well, I don't know what they're washing with. Do you want me to get in there for your knowledge? No, nah, it's all right. <laughs> Guns. Yes, I told you what it was inside here. Is it? Shotgun, I think. Yeah, it is. Yeah, shotgun barrel. Sort of. Oh, oh, beautiful. Oh, 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 you beauty! <laughs> it's an <around> end! <laughs> oh, you've got the complete set. Oh, you little... <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant! Hang on a minute, hang on. Yeah, it's you've gold. got a complete one. That's a bit... Yeah, that's that's, a, a that's not been in long, that. That, that could, could be repurposed, that could. Yeah. I'm going to repurpose some stuff. <laughs> Can I just check that? Oh, there you go, there's your number. Yeah. Firing pins in. Firing pins are there. That goes in there. That would clean up. You'd, Double. Be, you'd be able to use that again. Yeah, you would. There you go, mate. You <laughs> bloody <laughs> hell. <laughs> so Glenn's a little bit excited again, but the one I just pulled out in a bag. Look at that. All complete as well. Nice. So, yeah, it's quite decorative actually on there. Yeah, it's be. going to be a good day this is well it's already a bloody good day but i mean i weren't expecting to find that thrown in a pond in the middle of nowhere look at that proper sauna Thanks. so there we go then i'll just show it one more time before these push bikers come along it is actually quite decorative unfortunately it is a sawn off it's going to have to be handed in uh, so we'll put that in the pile of the hand in and i've got a load of the end of the shells as well but brilliant find Yeah. Get out. Let's find it. 
and mortars, yeah? <laughs> so, Aaron's just pulled up that, and at the same time, I pulled up that. Oh, oh well, yeah. we'll keep piling them up. The makeup, don't you? Oh, there. there we go, so I've got another 9mm and some lipstick for Glenn because I gave him the nail varnish, now the lipstick. Just got to get him a bit of blusher now. What colour is that one now? I gave him a vanity mirror the other week. And he got a vanity mirror as well, so we are <laughs> kitting him out. And as he said on his last video, what you do beyond closed doors, well, that's what he does beyond uh, closed doors. Exactly. I left that in there for you. So, yeah. excuse Steve's that's posterior, but Aaron's just found himself a little tyre. And inside the tyre, they've pulled out a bullet. Two bullets, two bullets. Oh, two bullets. You see, AJ's in the tar. I know we've got Steve's bum there, but you know. <laughs> so there we go, AJ. What you got in there then? <laughs> there we go, and inside the tar was a bullet. <laughs> Another bullet, look. Two bullets inside the tar. There we go, there's the tar. Look at the size of that. The crane pulled it out. That's oh, a. I'm here. <laughs> right, I just found that, which is like the primer cap for something. We believe it's for one of them, which we think could possibly be flares or something, but not quite sure, but that's going to go in the bad fine bucket. <laughs> Got another 9mm bullet. <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> well, that makes a refreshing change. <laughs> A grenade and a mortar! <laughs> so there we go. Oh, I've got a grenade and a mortar on the same pole. Look at that. Finally got myself a grenade I can keep. Oh. Yep. I've had that bloody many of them now. I want to keep one. Keep this one in your bucket. You ain't got to get a bucket away. North Ants 4, Rusty Nuts 4. <laughs> there you go, got another bullet. There you go, another bullet. There we go, so AJ found himself a mortar. It is empty as well. So that's a keeper as well, look, another training one. Right, okay, I'll show this and get this out of the way. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So, just found that. At first we thought, I won't face it, it had been fired. Not it's going to make any difference, but firing pin is still in there. So, we've just pulled up that. Another one for the bucket. Look at that. <laughs> so, on closer inspection, there isn't a pin in there. And it's full of concrete. It's a trainer. It's a keeper. Look at that. Flipping heck. Brilliant. You There we go, got a bit narrow gauge track. Seems quite a bit of this in there. Fridge door! <laughs> So, I've gone and found a fridge door now. Ugh, unbelievable. We've got a chrome insert from a car door moulding. And a something. Bullet! Yeah. There we go, little strip of bullets, oh, there we go, still in the holder, brilliant. Woo, <laughs> look at that, What's that? bullets, lots of bullets, and a battery. So as you can see, we've got an old, ooh, what is it, chloride exide, and then we've got 
one bullet we got two bullets four bullets and six bullets they're blanks as well yeah, a got the squashed ends on them yeah. and they're all blanks excellent <laughs> there we go two more blank bullets Oh look, bullets! <laughs> there we go, got some more bullets. Yeah, I keep getting this microphone, which is getting really annoying now. It's minging, isn't it, Birmingham? Oh, I'll have to settle for a grenade instead then. Oh, what it was? She said to And there we go, I've got another meal, another empty one, look. There we go, so that's North Ants 5, Rusty Nuts 4. <laughs> there we go, got another 9mm bullet. We're so proud. Yeah. Well, let's put it like this, there was some money and we've had it. So Aaron's got a towel fin off a mortar and a Viador battery. Flip it out. It's all about bullets and mortars, that's what it's all about. Look at that! <laughs> so, yeah, I do. Got one bullet, these are blanks as well. Two bullets, three bullets, four bullets. And somebody's nicked me towel fin. Can you believe that? <laughs> They've unscrewed me towel fin. You might as well just pull out the team. I can't. Nine mil bullet. That's another one. My bucket's nearly full. <laughs> a few of them now. So Aaron's got himself a training round. Silver one. See the indentations inside of it. Means I've got a couple of them now. What's the on? It's a frog nest. Oh look! Oh, it's a piece of magnetic. Oh. I thought you had a grenade. Oh, oh look! Bullets! Oh, oh, no. oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's more magnets! You can, have, <laughs> you can have all the frogs you want. <laughs> Glenn, you've just been out, Glenn, because that's what he does to me. Pulls the oh, off my magnet. Look at that. Is that going to cap or he's doing no. that to me? Holy mackerel. <laughs> Something not right about it. Dad, look. It don't look as hollow as the others. No. There you go. Dad, look. Yeah, ain't because Oliver was the other one. No, that's a live one. Oh, no! <laughs> Bully selection! Bloody <laughs> hell, you've got right range there. You want your frogs? Yeah, but. <laughs> no, that could still have the. Um... So it's all fun and excitement over there. Glenn's excited but disappointed. And I've got some more bullets. Look at that lot. So we've got two, three, some nine mils, six. Seven, eight. Nine. How far? Here comes a balls out of fiend and body at the same time. Oh, he's got a broken one. Oh, it's too rough. I want to unscrew to go on the other one where it's missing. And another more, look. There we go. <laughs> and another fin off one, look, there we go. <laughs> there we go, that's the top of a smoke bomb. Shotgun shell. There we go, I've got myself a trap victory shotgun shell. So we try it over there. It's really silty, but I've got a shotgun shell. And then I've got another one. And then I've got another one. And then these things started coming. Bullets. Tiny little ones they are, look at them. And some bigger ones. <laughs> That's the grapple. 
like a yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Green That's the rake. Alright, oh, there we go, it's got another mortar, another nine mil bullet. <laughs> and I don't think you're really going to believe this, but I'm going to show you anyway, right? As you see, Aaron and Steve are just walking down the hill at the moment. Aaron's made himself a new toy. Now he calls it a rake. <laughs> um, as you can see, it's bigger than your average garden one. Um, so literally going to get rope on both ends of it, either side of the pond, and give it a bit of a stir. Oh well, this will be a first. Definitely a first for magnet fishing. This. That is heavy. <laughs> there we go. Another mortar. Buckets filling up now. There we go. Another nine mil bullet. North Ants versus the rest, mate. So, as you can see, um, well, you can't see actually, the new rake has ended up in the water and um, it's going to have its first drag across the pool. He's already caught something. Look, he's caught a tree. Get in the middle, Aaron. The crane. We've got a rope stretch right across the other side. And we're all going to have a bit of a dredging session. Now I'm just going to try and do more of that. Ah. There you go. Oh. Yeah, That's a one out of the band. Yeah. Is that where your bit of metal's off? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I wonder if I cash box down there or Yeah, that's what I mean, yeah, that bit there. Yeah, that bit of bottom catch. It, it is. We knew it was on a, a, a spindle look. At the bottom stage, catch coins, as it spits them out. Well, yeah. yeah, somewhat like that, isn't it? Bloody hell. It is a ching ching. <laughs> well, someone had to, didn't they? Good point, yeah. mate. <sighs> Pop a bloody heavy as well. So I've got another trip while and something completely random which is really good. Ah, front off a one arm bandit. Oh there goes the bottom. That's like he nearly had me toes. That's proper old cut off one arm bandit that. What a waste. What an absolute waste. See the wood on the sides, that's the front for it, but proper old school bandit that. He'll do anything to get rid of that to stop you oh, finding yeah, things, won't he? Oh look, Aaron's on the bullets now. Nice little strip on. Old oh, blanks as well. The rope's sinking. You got it. It's going to be a frosty car journey on the way home. Good old frosty. You do it on purpose, did I? Bit of brummy violence, look. Glenn just borrowed Marie's 200 and he let go of the rope and it went out. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh! See, he'll throw it out more often. Pack it in. I know, yeah. Come on, Glenn, come on. What are you doing? Losing her 200. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the panic on her face? I've never seen a panic like that. Before. I chucked the Evo down. The Evo. <laughs> I chucked the Evo down like it was nothing. And then went, what 200? What 200? You have the first magnet. Come on, mate. If you lose it, that's one thing. But when he just throws it out, that's a bit different. <laughs> I saw the rope slow through my hand and I thought, I've just got the old train on my <laughs> The face is brilliant. <laughs> there we go. Rocket hand fired, illuminating para. Yeah. You got a nice flare, mate. British and foreign patents. Date, lot, ah, there, date, 1283, lot 186. So, there we go, Aaron's got himself a flare. Uh, 
Rocket Hanford Illuminating Para L5 L5A4. There we go. It's got all the instructions on there. And it was made in 1983, 12 month of 83, lot 106. So if you was using lot 106, take your rubbish home with you and don't chuck it in the water. All <laughs> right, so some more bullets come up. As you can see, that's the new design one for going around corners. That was only for mild corners. And that was all right, but some very wonky bullets there. I'll chuck you back in, mate. Oh, 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 oh. What? Oh my life. <laughs> I forgot what they look like. Yeah. Have a look at one. Is that what I think it is? Nine you mil. Mine look lit, eh? <laughs> Not sure. Is that, yeah, it's all. Just come in one pull. Oh, that's yeah. crazy. So, sorry, what were you just saying, Dirk? I think we're done. <laughs> So, as you know, we found one or two bullets today. Look at that for a pull. Flipping heck, look. That's a lot of 9mm bullets. How many have we got? <laughs> 29 in one pull. <laughs> right, you go and stand round there by Steve. I don't want to see your face again. Go on. Give me and Glenn a chance, Stan. Yeah. That's it, you know. He's AJ. So, next pull, 27. Look at that. Porcupine time. Look at them, look. They're like vultures, look. They're nicking me spot. I've gone right by you, man. So, as you saw, I found a few bullets. Well, quantity over quality, probably. Aaron has to do something different. 1939, 50 cal, look at that. Yes, it is live, but Aaron has to find the bigger one. Look at that. Good old. And another 9mm. There we go, Aaron got himself a microphone or headphone cable. Another one of those trip wire things. And a drain cleaner. So your rod goes on there, push it down the drain, and then that flicks down, and you drag it along the bottom to clean the drain out. What the hell that's doing in here, I'll never know. Like. And I've had two of them, pens. A bit random to have two pens in the middle of nowhere, but. Got this thing's heavy. <laughs> Nothing wrong with relaxing after a hard day's fishing. You're tired. You've been there all morning though. Yeah, but what I've found, I don't need to get up. <laughs> <laughs> So there we go, Aaron's found some more bullets. He's been busy over there. This is heavy. He's come right, it's nearly here now. Yeah. All right. Hey, remember, you... Shot, shot. What's that? A BT bloody cash box. <laughs> <laughs> How the hell did that get out there? They're heavy! <laughs> You've got to go again. And a periscope! <laughs> yeah, go for it. Oh, it's got a brass ring around it. it Two brass rings. Trip wire. It's 
done it with brass rings round it. <sighs> no, I don't know what this is. Saw an off shotgun. Sawn <laughs> off. No, it's the rest of Rusty's barrels. Yeah. So I've got another trip wire bit. Another part of shotgun, the mechanism from sawn off. Or shotgun anyway. We've got another bullet. Got one there that's all bent, a tip, and it looks like it's ricocheted off something, so that's like a bent bullet. I've got that part there, not quite sure what it is. It has got copper rings on it, but it's just a hollow tube. I uh, got thrown off a BT cash box and have one of them for a while. Please be an oxygen box. No, it's a bottle. It's alright, it's a tank. <laughs> oh. I thought that was a blue then. Right, here we go then. This is going to be fun, isn't it? Well, if we get off it, <laughs> <actually not. laughs> So, we pulled that out earlier. Thought it was a torpedo at first, a bit worrying, but it was alright, it was only a gas bottle. But that was a big bugger that was. Uh, no. <laughs> and um, Aaron got this. So he's got like a spike on the end, flat, round pole, but it's square. Random, don't know what it is, but heavy duty pole that. Do you want that? Right, okay then, let's have a look at what we got. This is everybody's finds. We'll start off here. Aaron's collection of mortar and grenades there you go he's got himself an illuminating flare then we've got some trip wire things got some more grenades see got a few nine mil bullets got quite a few other bullets actually i've got me um two smoke grenades that's more mortars there uh got that tip off a missile whatever it's concrete filled so it's a training one then we move on to these ones which are actually that one there's live, so that one will be um, the phone call will be made in a minute for it. Now you see Rusty had to get one more grenade than Aaron. But that's the shotgun I pulled out. And oh, it's just everything here. As you can see plenty of bits of sawn offs. More bullets. There's Glenn's gun. Got a lot of keys, Glenn. Lots of keys, mate. <laughs> there we go. Another bit the other bit of the shotgun that I found. There you go, look at that for a round. He's well cow. pleased with that. 50 cal. He's well pleased with that. And some more mortars. So as you can see, all that lot. Mainly all training stuff. Even they could be, but we're not 100 percent sure, so we're not going to take the risk. All came from that pond. Which when I stood at the top of the hill this morning and looked down, I thought it's a puddle. But believe me, we've had so much stuff out of there, and you've got to admit this is probably the most weaponry that's been well armory that's been found any but time magnet fishing see lovely collection there we go anyway cracking day out of the pond unbelievable what was in there uh, great day with these guys as you can see all on their knees obviously as they should be get down <laughs> but no as you see we had some amazing finds a uh, bucket full of bits loads of empties they're going to clean up well i don't know what i'm going to do with them but i can't leave them here i've got to take them so anyway <laughs> i hope you all enjoyed the friday live it was um different and um we'll catch you all on the next adventure say goodbye everyone goodbye everyone, Bye, everyone. <laughs> he's always late <laughs>